Hey guys, today on Gringo Explains, we're going to be talking about how to set up a legal macro for Rebo OT. So the first thing we want to do is open up your Razer Synops or your Logitech Pro or your Corsair uh, settings. Go through to the home page, and what you're going to want to do is look for the spot that says macros, and it can be kind of hard to find. You mainly on the on the home page here. If you scroll down, you can find it like here. Here's the macros, and then you'll click on it. And then from there, you've got your macros, and it's all blank. I haven't set any up. So first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to make a new macro. So we push the plus sign, create a new macro, macro 1. And then we have to record the macro that we want to use. So we're going to push the record button, and we're going to push the spells in the game that we want to be using. And then we're going to push record again to pause it. So we'll go through and show you how that works. I have a certain spell rotation that I like to use, and a certain... Um, amount of pots that I think really keeps it at an even balance so you don't have to worry about running out of mana or using too many potions and overfilling your mana and not and, and wasting it. So we'll start it here. We're going to do Utana Vid, Ixera Vita, Ixera Vita, Ixera Max Vita, and then three potions in a row. And then we're going to stop it. Now you have your macro set up, but how do you get that macro to, to be starting? You go over here to the right where it says keybinds. You go to the plus sign, and you're going to add a keybind to your macro so that you know what button to push on your keyboard to activate it and turn it off. You can set it to your mouse or your keyboard. I choose to set it to my keyboard because I might accidentally hit it on my mouse when I'm hunting. You're going to want to make sure you push um, toggle continuously. And then the pay, and then whichever key you want. Now, once you press a key, it's going to change the playback option back to play one. So make sure you go back through, push it back to toggle continuous play on, play off, and with the key assigned. And then all you're going to want to do is press save, and that'll save it to your computers. And now you just go, in, you just open up the game to the page, press your button that makes it to where you'll activate your macro and now you can see my macro is going off I don't have any hands on my keyboard and I'm not pressing any buttons but now my macro is going so if you have to stay overnight somewhere and you just want to leave this up with your converter running it is a great way to get a little bit of extra magic level in whether you're a sorcerer a paladin or a knight so I hope you guys have found this helpful and everybody can be out there mana training a little bit harder than they were before gringo out